We're already creating event frames using Pi Event Frames Generator and linking those event frames to mixers and heaters in line one. We would like to take this event frame structure for line one in Pi Event Frames Interface Manager and quickly duplicate it for line two. We can do this by using the new bulk editor feature. A few notes before we start. I did add line one as a primary referenced element at the parent level and recreated my event frames. This way in Pi System Explorer, we'll quickly be able to see which event frames were created for line one and which ones were created for line two. Also, all of the trigger tags already exist for line two. I'm going to start by exporting the existing configuration to CSV file by using the new bulk editor feature. If I just click export CSV, and I'll save it as exported. Let me go ahead and open this file in Excel. And here we have the file opened up in Excel. If you look at each column, you can start to see the same structure that we saw in Pi Event Frames Interface Manager. Here's that name parent level. It's the procedure level factory one template. Underneath that is mixer one with parent level as its parent. Same thing with mixer two and heater one. And then here are those sub badges, the heater element one and heater element two that are part of heater one. So what we essentially need to do is copy these cells, rows two through seven, make duplicates of them, and then edit them so they have the appropriate attribute uh, pi tag references, etc. Let me go ahead and start by copying those by selecting rows two through seven, right clicking copy, then I'm gonna go ahead and paste those. And then I'm not going to make any edits to rows two through seven because those are the that's the existing structure for line one that I don't want to change. So we're gonna only be editing eight through 13. And let me go ahead and expand all of my columns and we're just gonna go through with them one by one and make our edits. And to make this easier, I'm gonna make these a different color. I'm going to need a different name for my parent level. So I'm gonna call this parent level line two. However, the uh, parts of the structure underneath it, I wanna use the same names. But again, for these to be able to find their correct parent, I'm gonna to have to rename these as well. We're gonna be using the exact same templates and no changes to these other settings here. Now for my active point tags, I need to change these for line two. So they point to the correct tags. So I'm just gonna do that manually for each of these for the active point tag. And if you wanna use Excel tricks where you select cells and do find and replace, that's fine. But I'm just gonna do this all manually for this video. The tag behavior is no different. And then here we have a column related to the names that are gonna be used for the event frames. So once again, I already have tags that exist for these names. So I'm just gonna manually edit each of these so that I use the equivalent from line two. And then this last one is a static name, so it just is hard coded in. And then my referenced elements. So I have referenced elements for my line number and also for my mixers in line two. And let's see what other changes we have here that I need to make. I have some pie point data references here for some attributes. So this is gonna be the L2 product, L2 mix one, L2 mix two, and L2 heater one. And then it keeps going on into the next set of attributes. I'm gonna manually change these as well. And 
and we've got just a couple more here. And at that point, it looks like everything is updated. I'm going to export this to CSV file, and then we're going to head back to Pi Event Frames Interface Manager and import that file. Here I have my file as CSV format that I edited in Excel. So I saved that as a CSV and copied it back to my interface machine. And in Pi Event Frames Interface Manager, in the bulk editor, I'm going to say import CSV. I'm going to select that edited file and click open. Now, if I go to the event frame structure, you can see the changes that we made. Here's the parent level line two with mixers and heaters under it. Quickly, I'll just take a look at a few things. If I go to additional settings, you can see the primary referenced element has been selected there. Under the mixers, you can see the tag names have been updated to say L2. Same thing with heater. I'll click save settings then stop and start the interface to let it do the default recovery for line two. I'm going to let that run for just a minute or two, and then we will head to Pi System Explorer to take a look at the event frames created. This was the previous search. You can see that there were only event frames for line one that were showing up. Let's do a new search. Click OK. And now you can see that there are event frames for both line one and line two. You should now be familiar with using the bulk editor feature.